The cage match, the United States title versus the hair of Ricky Steamboat, the nature boy, Ric Flair. And Ricky Steamboat, no time limit, no disqualification. Tonight, the whole wrestling world knows it's tonight. You see that, Steamboat? This is you, my boy. You are the man I created. And you are the boy that I'm going to destroy. Bald, ugly. Mark on the eye. No. You see this right here, Steamboat? You see this? You see, I just got out of one of these. Me. They put the great one in there with Jack Mulligan, the king of the cagers. And who walked out with the gold? Me, Rick Flair. I walked out. Do you understand that? I walked out. And tonight, Steamboat, it's your hair, it's your face, it's your body, it's your life on the line against me and the gold. My gold belt. My gold. Tonight, Steamboat, do you hear that? That's your face, boy. You are going to be mine tonight. And God. Nineteen seventy eight was a tough year in professional wrestling. Many feuds were started, and probably the biggest one between the US heavyweight champion Nature Boy Ric Flair. Rick, you had a successful year. On TV. You ever see me looking finer, huh? Well, I have to admit, year, it's huh? a nice looking sport coat. Yeah. More. The rings are right. bigger, the cars are bigger. You had a good the women year. Women are prettier. I had a great year. The year was as great as Ric Flair wanted it to be. And you retained yeah. your title. Whatever Ric Flair wants. Ric Flair gets. I wanted it to be a great year. I wanted to be the champion for a year. I wanted to beat everybody that got in the ring with me. And baby doll, that's what I've done. Could you do some of that for me? I have yeah. color, huh? What do you want, huh? Huh? What do you want? Anything. Name it. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Haven't I not made your show worldwide wrestling number one in the country, huh? Do you know why you're number one? Because you associate yourself with big time people. I don't have anything to do with it, right? You associate yourself with big-time wrestling. Okay. Now, go ahead, my man. I'm ready. Let's talk about Ricky Steamboat, your number one nemesis. My number one nemesis. I believe you have a film right here that was going to show the whole world once again what I do to people. Oh, that you belittle Ricky me. Steamboat in 78. You I hurt him. I humiliated him. Roll it, baby. Now, roll it. There's never now the words. world champions, but I don't want to take a look at what's really going on. The what? real world what's champion. Really going the on? real man. Now, you know... I'm out here and I'm going to admit to you that I'm upset. Everywhere I go, all over the country, all over Canada, Japan, Australia, no matter where I've been, I've gotten letters, and all I've heard about is how Steamboat beat me. Steamboat beat the Nature Boy. Steamboat beat the Great One. Well, let me tell you something. For the United States Heavyweight Championship. There's the bell. Is he kidding? I don't know. I think he must be serious. He must be serious. He must be serious. He wants to wrestle me. Get in here and wrestle me right now. Yeah, he's serious. You got it. You want to wrestle me one on one on television? There's the bell right in the ring. You're putting the belt up? You leave me in that ring, that gun is yours, and I'll kiss every inch of your body the day you take it. Get out of here. All right, he says you beat him and it's yours. Now, Mr. Crockett, you understand this is a great opportunity for That's me. That's right. It's, it's a okay. verbal contract. It's legal and binding. Okay. All right. Hey. All right. David, We've got it I right now. It's for the U.S. Championship. <laughs> All right. Here Rick Flair and Ricky Steamboat. Stomping right at his head. David, he didn't Very hard. Give Steamboat a chance to get into the ring. Hey, now he's rubbing Steamboat his face in the mat. ready to go. He's going to get a... There goes a referee through the rope. Out of the Steve ring. Look at him he's going to have a tremendous mat burn, and he's just scraping oh, yeah. his scraping face away. right across the mat. I've never yeah. seen anybody handle that way in the mat. He's out on the floor now. And here comes Flair after him. Hey, Flair, no, look at him. Ric Flair has gone look at mad. Him. He's dragging him across the floor now. And now he's got him right over here at us, David. Again, <laughs> just dragging him across that concrete floor. Referee Stu Swartz cannot hear from No, the referee is down again. He just, look at it. He dragged his face across, across. Driving his concrete. face into that concrete. Flips him over. Again. Oh, right in the uh, Right hand, right into the eye again. He rubbed that eye. Along that man, and now on that floor. And Steamboat really hasn't had a chance. Steamboat really he was, he hadn't had a chance to get in the match. It was yet. a sneak attack. You like that? It was a sneak, a, it was a sneak attack, Ric Flair. Flair, you hadn't given him a chance yet. Get in the ring and do it. Come on, Flair. Get in the ring. Now 
guy is going to slam him and push him right into our monitor. Hey, you thought don't worry, don't you tell me what they do. Don't you ever tell me what they do. You were going to huh? hey, you don't you either. All the you US said this. Look at your pretty boy now. Look at these girls. Come on, pretty boy. And there's his head again. Slam. There's your right pretty boy. The now he's ugly. You when you see that face and you see that eye. He's ugly and I'm that champion. Real big champion. And here is Steve right out down at our feet. And Flair is still not satisfied. Now he's got that belt. And he's rubbing that belt now right into that eye. And Steve who never really had a chance. Really mauled and hurt and slammed around, and here comes Ric Flair. You like that, huh? You take that. You're no champion. Get out of here. We will be back following these commercial messages. Ricky Steamboat, 1978. Probably your popularity got even greater than ever, but it probably had to be the most humiliating year you have probably ever spent in professional wrestling. Ric Flair de injured you, degraded you right in front of nationwide television, and then your partner Paul Jones walks out. But with Flair, you were able to retaliate. Uh, that's correct. Maybe put in a, a word in there. Also, maybe a very painful year for, yeah. my, for myself. No, none other physically, but inside here because of a best friend of mine. But getting back to uh, Nature Boy Ric Flair, uh, I did get even with him just a little bit. Oh, yeah. You, I tell you, they say payback's hell sometimes. Right. But in this case, uh, you had chased him for a long time. That's there was correct. no question about it. You'd been after his U.S. Heavyweight Championship. You had had a couple of uh, shots at the title. Uh, he had used equalizers, uh, whatever, any That's tactic correct. to get disqualified or to injure you. And then he comes along and he injures you on nationwide television. The scar is really just starting to heal real well now. It looks better. How's the eyesight? Well, uh, vision is still uh, not on the 100% scale yet. Uh, I got about 80%. It's, it's very slow. I, I got medication I take three times a day uh -huh. I put in it. But uh, hopefully uh, it's going to look better with, with the next coming months coming up. Let me tell you, you must have really felt excited, you felt good inside when you were able to humiliate Flair on nationwide television. And um, I tell you, without further ado, we have some more tape courtesy of Mid-Atlantic Championship Wrestling. This is really exciting. Let's look at it. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, Here's Ric Flair. Uh, it's over, but with talent like this, and you got nothing on that card like this, I can't help but take things over. Turn it on, girls. Let me get in the middle here. Bob Cottle, David Crockett. Hey, hey, hey. Never in your life, right, brother? Huh? How about you, Bob? What's your wife doing tonight, huh? Hey, come on in here, sweetheart. I want the whole world to see. Well, all come. Get right in here now. Hey, check it out, Bob. I will tell your wife, huh? We'll check it out. Huh? Hey, yeah. huh? What do you think? Uh, Don't be peeking now, hey. Why I'm here, everybody knows that Ric Flair lives a life that makes guys like Joe Namath and every average human being in the world today go dizzy. We're on our way to Vegas. Frisco, Rome, Chicago, New York, who knows where we're going? Just like that, baby doll. Now, the point remains. What I did to Ricky Steamboat on this TV show. You're not proud um, of that. You're not hey, proud I'm of that. I'm real proud of it. Come here, girls. I want you to tell the world. Ask these girls, who is the number one man in the whole wide world? Tell them, girls. Huh? Nature Boy. All right, huh? Did you hear that? You want them to say it louder, Bob, huh? Say it louder. Say it louder, girls. Nature Boy. All right, huh? Just a minute, girls. Turn around. Spoil the world, boys. Spoil the world, huh? All right, huh? Hey, 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 you like that, don't you, huh? Okay, now, girls, where do you figure that a turkey like this, put that camera on this, where do you figure, come on, zoom in there, huh? Where do you figure that a turkey like this figures in to my plans, huh? I made the guy. 
Overnight, I made him a big star. He got lucky one day in his life. He beat me right there. He was an instant star, and I destroyed him just like that. As a matter of fact, I don't even see Ricky Steamboat around anymore, huh? He's here, and he's around. Oh, hey. he, you haven't destroyed him. Hey. You haven't destroyed Ricky him. Ricky Steamboat probably sitting in a corner somewhere sucking his thumb while Nature Boy Ric Flair stands before the whole world with two of the most gorgeous human beings on the face of the earth. Hey, check, check out the time. That's right. Let's see. Steamboat now. That's right, it is. He's got him down now. David, I wouldn't call this a destroyed man, would you? He's completely he ripped his pin. I tell you, Rick, that didn't look like a destroyed man to me. We're not even even. I can't say much more. All right. The ring and the picture in the ring right now speaks for itself. You think someone can do this to me? Come on, David Allison! You think someone can do this? You know who I am! Ah! You know who I am! I'm the U.S. You think someone can do this to me? I'm kidding! Come on, David Allison! Ah! It can't be done! Steve Ball! God! Give it! God is my witness! Oh, 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 o